Hi, I'm Joy. If you've been following my channel over the past year, you may remember that I shared two videos on a community EV charger project I was pushing for my condos homeowners association. The last video I did on this project was August 2021, and I have not done any more videos since on this topic. Many of you have asked what had happened to this project, and the answer is nothing. Well, until this last week. After about eight months of silence, I am happy to report that this project is finally moving forward. Let me share the timeline on this project to date and what has happened since my last video. To recap, on June 29, 2021, our HOA board sent out a survey to our owners and renters gauging interest about installing shared EV chargers, and we received overwhelming support from the community. On July 28, 2021, the HOA board approved the project and authorized me to submit an application to Southern California Edison, which is our local electric utilities company, for their charge ready rebate program. Under this program, SCE will pay for charging infrastructure upgrade and offer 50% off of approved EV chargers. Because our condos are 50 years old, this rebate program will reduce the cost of projects significantly. On July 29, 2021, I submitted the application to SCE. The website stated that it would take about 30 days for SCE to get back to us on approval. When we submitted the application, we had to indicate to SCE where the charges will be located on property. Because we have 15 buildings housing a total of 530 condo units on site, we were going to install two chargers on each side of the campus, so it would be convenient for residents to use without having to walk too far from their units. On August 13, 2021, SCE rejected our application. They told us while well, there is a minimum of four charging spaces requirement, we cannot split those four spaces. They have to be adjacent to one another, which I understand is to make the installation easier and less costly instead of having to trench at different spots around the community. On August 18, 2021, I resubmitted the application after discussing with our on-site maintenance staff locating a stretch of four HOA-owned common parking spots that are close to a power source and would be centrally located for all residents to walk to. Then, on September 8, 2021, we heard from SCE that they would like to schedule a consultation review for the application. Our office general manager had a call with them that same day. The call was pretty much telling us the process and what to expect. According to SCE, our application was being processed at that time and the next step would be a site evaluation, which should happen within the next month, which was by October 2021. After the site evaluation, they will draw up the plans and send us an agreement to be signed. Once the agreement is signed, we have 45 days to purchase the charging stations. Thereafter, the contractor can pull permits and begin construction and installation. In September, they told us to expect 9 to 10 months for this process from start of application to completion. We were happy that the project was actually moving along and we were waiting for the site evaluation to be scheduled for October. Well, October came and went and there was no site evaluation scheduled. Then November, then December, then January, February, and March. During those six months, we followed up with SCE every month asking when they would come on site to move the project forward. 
our potential charge point reseller and installer were also asking when we were ready to have them start working. Then finally, on March 30th, 2022, SCE told us they will schedule a site assessment in the next week. So what caused the huge delay? Well, we found out that SCE only has five site inspectors to go around locally. With Omicron COVID variant hitting hard toward the end of 2021, that pulled a few people off duty. Also, they have been inundated with rebate applications, so they were both short-staffed and overwhelmed at the same time, which caused a long delay for everybody. Well, I guess it's a good problem to have. This means lots of residential communities and local businesses are taking advantage of this rebate program, wanting to install EV chargers at their locations, just like we do. The thing is though, if we didn't care to get the rebate, we could have had this project done much sooner, if not done already. But because we are at the mercy of SCE availability working through the rebate program process, this project may very well take up to a whole year to complete at this point. So here we are the first week of April in 2022 and the site inspection is finally going to happen on Wednesday, April 6th. I am super excited. During all these months of waiting, there have been several residents reaching out to me asking when the EV chargers will be installed. I've also gotten more neighbors coming by asking me about my Tesla Model 3 as the high gas prices are pushing people to dump their gas guzzlers and get an electric vehicle instead. So. This is an update on where we are with our HOA Community EV Charger project. Please stay tuned as I share more updates when the project moves to the next phase. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this video informative. Please like this video if you got value out of it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I will see you next time and God bless.